Hey everyone! So in this video I wanted to share um, a little tutorial on some angel pig dolls that I've made and um, I was inspired by uh, Pepper and Pine uh, the way she made her little fairy pig dolls but um, I will link all everything that I'm using I'll link it below in the description box um, the pig dolls I ordered from Amazon um, and then usually I would use some white paint or watercolor paint on the pig dolls but here I'm using some um, uh, acrylic paint from uh, it's a brand it's uh, acrylic paint that I've gotten from Target and I'm sorry that I get out of the frame when I get so I was getting really close so I can um, make the face on this angel and I first outlined it with a pencil and then went in with the blue for the eyes and now I'm gonna go in with um, some uh, pink it's kinda like a rosy dusty pink maybe for the mouth and um, I'm just using some a watercolor brush pen that I had in my um, watercolor collect brush collection <laughs> um, for these acrylic paints but uh, it's I'm using it because it's the only one that I had that has the finest tip that I could make the very fine detail of the face <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the uh, the paper towel that the pig doll is sitting on right now um, I used it to cut out a uh, a the wing shape, as you will see later. Uh, this is the pink acrylic that I will use for the cheeks of the angel pig doll. And it's, I mean, I sped up the video quite a bit. It's the, this pig doll took me quite a bit longer to make than a usual pig doll. And uh, in the end, I actually I made a second one, which I preferred without a face. <laughs> but yeah, um, this felt that I used for the wings, I'm just picking out, trying to pick out the right white color. Um, it is a, the collection is like a winter color collection that I also got from Amazon. And um, typically with a Waldorf, um, in a Waldorf education school, you'd want to use like very quality um materials so like 100% wool this here I'm using it's a 50% wool blend with 50% um, I, I don't think it's acrylic but it's a different it's a maybe it is acrylic I'll I'll have to double check and I will link it in in the description box below but as you can see I made the little form from the paper towel of the wing and then I just cut out the wings um, uh, and the okay so this is the the yarn that I will be using for the angels hair and actually this one is the 50% wool and 50% acrylic so the um, I believe the the felt it's also a blend I know that it's not 100% wool on the on both of these the yarn and the felt uh, but you all put in the links below to that. And none of this is, um, uh, what's the word? I'm not paid <laughs> by any of the companies. I am just want to share what the materials that I've used for this. Now here I'm just using some hot glue gun to glue on the hair of the angel. And the hot glue gun is really hot, so be careful. And I mean, you can use a different kind of glue, maybe like a tacky glue, but it does take longer to um, to dry so the hot glue gun does dry up very quickly but that means you also have to work pretty quickly with it and it took me a couple of times to really get the hang of um, uh, just getting the hang of pressing in the hair on the hot glue gun and then you're gonna have a bunch of the little uh, hot glue gun string web <laughs> everywhere eventually and I mean you just kind of have to um, I just kind of like collect it as I go snip where I need to um, I'm just adding more hair and more hair. Um, I, on this first angel, it I think I added a little bit too much, <laughs> a little too much hair. 
but uh, I ended up, I think, snipping off some. There's going to be a, a picture at the end or a short video of the final um, angels. I actually ended up uh, changing the wings a little bit. I ended up adding more wings to like the upper portion of the wing, but I'll show you that in a bit. So I just needed some more hair and so I'm just gonna snip it off and get it glued on. Do really like it, the gluing on the hair, like it does take um, a little bit of practice and so you kind of have to be um, lenient to just trial and error when it comes to making these peg dolls and I got like a like a bag of like a hundred of the big peg dolls like a medium size I guess and then I got another big bag of the smaller little baby sizes and um just kind of play around just to get the hang of gluing and uh let your creativity flow <laughs> um like I said, the, this angel pig doll, I was inspired by a video I saw um, on that, on, okay, the YouTube name is uh, Pepper and Pine. The lady's name is Hannah, and she does a wonderful job on her pig dolls. Like, I'm really inspired by her videos, and I she did a video on um, some fairies that she made, and so I'm like, hey, well, I can make some angels, and I, the, the, um, the form of the wings, I actually, I just googled um, angel wing printable or something like that and I ended up getting uh, a, I printed out like the form of an angel wing, like I just kind of looked through the Google Google images and I found one to my liking and, um, and then cut out the form on a plain paper towel and then cut out more, um, I mean cut out the felt. So there we go. She's almost done. I'm sorry about getting out of frame here and there. Um, this is the first time I'm making a video for YouTube, so I kind of tried to keep uh, within the frame, but every now and then, like, I couldn't keep looking into the camera. <laughs> As you can tell, she's got so much hair, but um, that's... she's pretty much done. But I will add more wing to her, which I will show you in just a bit. Just giving her a hair trim so the hair is nice and even and there she is. These are so much fun. Like my kids love playing with them. Very satisfying to make. <laughs> so okay, here I am going to attempt to make a halo using the yarn as well as this um, embroidery, gold em embroidery thread. And um, as you will see, I, I actually, this took me quite some time. I really had to edit this part to where it's not as long because I first tried to spin one piece of thread around the wool, around the yarn, and uh, then I ended up adding the second piece, and as you can tell, I'm kind of struggling. <laughs> it was a bit tedious, but um, I, yeah, I'm not sure why I decided to try to do it this way first. But I ended up eventually getting this halo on her head. It kept unraveling, so I'm like, oh, I just need to start gluing it. So I'm going to just put some glue there and just kind of glue around her head and twist as I go. Twist and glue as I, as you can see, I'm like twisting and then glue some more, twist and glue some more. Um, on the second angel, I ended up using just the golden embroidery thread. Actually, if you can see like right there underneath my hands, there's the little um, bling, the little craft bling that you'd get like at a, a scrapbook section at the craft store. I was going to originally add the little bling around the halo, but it the pieces turned out to be so, so small that it was very difficult to try and hot glue gun it. But there's that, the um, halo with the yarn and the embroidery thread, which, I mean, it turned out pretty cute, but I like the one, the second one that I made a bit better.
precious. So here are the finished two angel pig dolls. And as you can see, I've added more, uh, a little more wing at the top. So it's poking out of the back so you can see it well. Um, this one was my favorite, but let me know which one you guys like better. Which one? Um, let me know if you try them out too. Thanks.